Hello everyone. Good evening from the Holy Land of Israel. This is your host Avi Abelo. It's been a really rough night. It actually took me a while to acknowledge this and internalize this, but just a few hours ago there was a bus bombing in Jerusalem. A we don't yet know whether it was a suicide bomber or whether it was a, a bomb planted on a bus, but that is a bus route I take every day. That bus went, that bomb blew up the bus and blew up a second bus and 21 people were injured, including two seriously. That bomb went off at the time that I'm usually traveling those buses. Now understand folks, the bomb was placed on a bus that goes on a main route in Jerusalem, a main like uh, express route, like a lot of buses take that route and then go right, left, east, west, but they start and continue on that route. That's a main route. It's called Derech Hevron, the way to Hevron. Yes, it is horrible. Thank you, Eric, for your comment. Um, the, the reason the road is called the way to Hevron is because it's the road that connects Jerusalem to Hevron, to Hebron. So that's a route I take every day. I'm not on that specific bus, but I'm on that route. And believe it or not, the 21 people injured from the bombing attack were not on the bus with the bomb. There was actually a miracle. And folks, even when things are bad, I'm a firm believer of looking at the good and being thankful and, and having gratitude for the good. What's the good in all this? It was a miracle. The bus with the bomb, nobody was on that bus. The only person on the bus was the bus driver. That's it. Thank God. The 21 people injured were on another bus. Once the first, the bomb on the first bus blew up, then it also triggered a fire to go off in the second bus and people were burned and injured on the second bus. But if there were people on that first bus with the bomb, folks, this is rush hour. This is going home. I'm usually on that bus at this time. Buses are full. Buses are full. This is a main thoroughfare for buses. Everyone's traveling that bus to go home at that hour. And the miracle was that this bus with the bomb was empty. That is a miracle, folks. And even though 21 people were injured and two critically, we still have to be thankful for that miracle that the bus with the actual bomb didn't have any passengers on it. It really is miraculous. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow, I was planning, I'm still planning, I'm going to Jerusalem, I'm going to do a day of live vlogging, video blogs. I'm going to be live vlogging a full day in Jerusalem because it's the Passover holiday. Families are on vacation, children are out of school on vacation, and everyone's going to be looking for things to do next week. And guess what? Jerusalem has full activities next week. Across the city, there are going to be all types of activities. And I've been planning to go to Jerusalem and through the day, go and show all the different activities that are going to be happening so that people can already be thinking about what to do next week when vacation begins. So I can't tell you how important this day is actually turned out to be. Because right now, so many Israelis, so many Israelis are right now scared to come to Jerusalem next week because of the bombing today. So what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, live vlogging throughout the day, all these different places and activities for people to come on vacation has just gained tremendous importance because we want people to come to Jerusalem. Security is going to be, is going to be unbelievable and people shouldn't be afraid to come to Jerusalem. So please, please, please tomorrow follow me. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat. I I am Avi Abelo everywhere and follow me and share so that people see the unbelievable things they will be able to do in Jerusalem next week. We can't let the terror stop us. Folks, let me tell you something very powerful. This is really, really powerful. This isn't the beginning of the Muslim terror against us. We have gone through so many time periods of Muslim terror. The state of Israel is not yet even 70 years. Now guess what? The Muslims have been using terror against us for over a hundred years. Back in the 1920s, the Muslims were massacring Jews in Israel. 
It has nothing to do with the existence of the state of Israel. It has nothing to do with the Jews living in their biblical homeland in Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria. The occupation, there is no occupation. You can't occupy your own homeland. This is our homeland. This is our home. We want to live in peace with everyone. So, but here's the fascinating thing, folks. Okay? They've always used terror against us. For over 100 years, the Muslims have been using terror against us. Look at the Jewish people in their homeland today, 2016, versus 100 years ago, 1916. In 1916, the Jews in Israel were a weak people. It was just the Ottoman Empire, and then it was the British Mandate under, under, the, under Britain. We were a small people here. And the Jews were about to be persecuted and killed and massacred in Europe. Look at where the Jews were in our homeland 100 years ago and look where the Jews are in our homeland today 100 years later. Even though they used terror against us, the Jewish people in the state of Israel grew stronger and stronger and stronger with each year, with each decade, with each century. So they can try to use terror against us, but I promise you, just like today, the Jewish people in the state of Israel are immensely much stronger as a sovereign people in our homeland than we were a hundred years ago. We're going to be even stronger and overcome all of their horrible, evil terror. They're not going to stop us. They're not going to kick us out of our homeland. And I promise you the day's going to come when these radical Muslims are going to be paying a huge price. I wish it would be tomorrow. If not, then a month. If not, then a year. But whenever it is, even if it's five, ten years, that day will come. And let me promise you this. Israel is a beacon of light to the world. We are a ray of light in a sea of darkness. The Middle East is a sea of darkness. Human rights abuses across the Arab Muslim Middle East. No equality, no freedom for minorities, no freedom for women. There's gender apartheid, there's sexual apartheid, there's religious apartheid across the Arab Muslim Middle East. The only country that has freedom and equality and democracy for all is the state of Israel. Israel is a ray of light now any country around the world that wants to bask in the beacon of light that is Israel, they will be blessed also in terms of prosperity and being able to stand up to the growing Muslim terrorism. But any country and any leadership that ignores Israel being the good guy in the Middle East, that ignores the beacon of light that is Israel in this horrible region of evil and and any inequality and human rights abuses by the Arab Muslim world, any leader, and I'm calling you out, President Obama, and I'm calling you out, Western European leaders, that they just stand by and appease the radical Muslims and try to sell out Israel, well, they are bringing bad things upon themselves and their people. And I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that you get the leadership you deserve so you can continue to have freedom and prosperity with the leadership that look, understands it should be supporting Israel 110%. So I pray for you, that you have those leaders necessary, that you have a secure future for yourselves, for your children, and for your grandchildren. Because winter is coming, folks. The global jihad of radical Muslims is growing, and most of the Western world's leaders, Obama, Western Europe, Canada, they are appeasing the beast, and it's only growing stronger and stronger in its appetite and motivation to come and do all of its damage in your countries. Israel knows how to stand up for itself. Israel knows how to protect uh, human rights as much as possible and equal equality and freedom as much as possible living in the crazy con situation with all this terror around us. But your leaders don't. And right now, your future looks dangerous, so I pray that you have the leaders necessary to stand in support of Israel so that they can get the assistance, motivation, and guidance to stand up shoulder to shoulder with Israel to beat back the growing evil radical Muslims are bringing around the world. So folks, this is a, the reason I'm telling you this story of what happened on the bus tonight. It's because it's not just a story. It's not just a headline. 
it's personal. I'm giving you all a personal connection because I could have been on that bus. You see my face, you hear my voice. I could have been on that bus because I travel those buses on that road every day at that time. So I'm very blessed that I came home early today because I coach Little League for my son and I had to come home early to coach him and have father-son time and enjoy life and enjoy life with my son. And I was not on the bus. I was not on that road when I usually am. So I am thankful to God I'm able to be here today. And that's why now you have a personal story. When you now go to talk to friends or family about the terror in the, the Muslim terror in Israel that's been going on for a hundred years, it's not just a headline. You have a face and you have a voice of someone who is connected to it. I wasn't there today, thank God, but I could have been. So this is personal, folks. It's not just a headline. And these radical Muslims, when they do their terror in Brussels, when they do their terror in Madrid, when they do their terror in Paris, it's the same as when they do their terror in Jerusalem. Yet the media and the politicians, they all put the French flag up or the Brussels flag up, right? If anything happens over there. Do you see anyone putting up the Israeli flag with the radical Muslim bombing in Jerusalem today? No. Somehow they treat us differently. Somehow they think, oh, Muslim terrorists, they always do terror against Israel. That's a different story. It's not a different story, folks. It's the same thing. The Jews in Israel are the canary in the gold, in the in, in the coal mine. And you better wake up because if your leaders can uh, ignore the state of Israel and that uh, the terror affecting us is the same terror coming to you, well, they are ignoring the dying canary in the coal mine. And you're all going to be affected as well because of your leaders who prefer to look down upon Israel and appease the radical Muslims of the world instead of learning from Israel and standing shoulder to shoulder with Israel to protect you and your children and your grandchildren. So again, I'm going to leave with a positive note. And that positive note is stand with Israel, share the truth. Because the more you stand with Israel and share the truth, the more your future can be secure as well. Here in Israel, we're going to be okay. We know how to stand up to all this evil. I'm worried about you because you don't have the leaders necessary to stand up to the evil. They're appeasing the evil. So folks, let's make this world a better place. Stand with Israel shoulder to shoulder. Help me spread the truth. Don't be passive about it. Help spread the truth to wake up people around you, your friends and family, so we can all help make this world a much better place. My prayers go out to all of you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And again, look out for me tomorrow for all my love blog, like my love blogging, vlogging in Jerusalem of all the activities and places. You'll see all these things in Jerusalem on Facebook, Avier Below, on Twitter, Avier Below, on Periscope, Avier Below, on Instagram, on Snapchat. I am there. Look for me. Follow me. Be inspired because we Jews, we celebrate life. We don't let the terrorists get us down. We don't let them stop our lives. We continue on and we continue on and spread more light and we grow and grow and grow and become stronger and stronger and even a bigger light to the world. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'm going to head to bed. Laila Tov, that means good night from the Holy Land of Israel here in the Judean Hills. Take care, folks.